You're probably wondering what the hell is in that package. Well, uh, I had the same reaction when I found out that is my 1987 vintage Chicken a la King menu number 9 MRE in that packaging. I paid good money for the, for the uh, shipping and that is what they send it out in. Are you kidding me right now? Like plastic grocery bags? Oh, that is so ridiculous, but nonetheless, we're just gonna open up this bad boy and see what's inside. I haven't had an MRE in a very long time, so uh, we're gonna just open this bad boy up and I heard the Chicken a la King is not exactly one of the best MREs they've ever made. Look at this. Look at what it was packaged in. <laughs> Let me see something this up right here for everybody to see. Look at how they packaged it. Look at that. Victoria's Secret bag. Gotta love how they sent me this MRE. There it is. Meal ready to eat individual. Menu number nine, Chicken a la King. Accessory packet D. Cadillac Products Incorporated, Sterling Heights, Minnesota. Look at the packaging, that thing is like brown. Should be a Julian code here somewhere, but I guess they don't, didn't have one. But according to my research, uh, the last time that this was on a legit military menu was 1987, so this bad boy right here is 34 years old. I've been watching a lot of Steve MRE, just been really interested in seeing what the hell was inside of some of these, and maybe even eating some. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. What do we got right here? We got cheese spread. Ooh. Cocoa beverage. What else we got here? Crackers. Oh, those are all, I could, yeah, those are all smashed up. The Chicken a la King main course. Net weight five ounces, 142 grams. Fruitcake, oh, just in time. We're right past uh, Christmas, so there you go. You got a fruitcake. Never had fruitcake in my life, so that ought to be something. And there is the accessory pack. D, coffee, cream substitute, sugar, catsup, salt, chewing gum, matches, and toilet paper. And as Steve MRE 1989 would say, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay. <laughs> Got a shout out to the MRE king right there for Steve MRE. Let's check out some of this stuff. So first off, what I wanna try here is the uh, cocoa beverage powder. Oh. Ooh, that is chocolatey. See that? Oh yeah. Got that open right there. Oh man, so much chocolate. Man, that smells good. So six fluid ounces. I'm gonna take a stab at it. Just gonna try to guess here. Uh, that looks about like six. Let's open up our spoon. This stuff is older than I am. We need to add a little bit more water to that. That is very chunky. <laughs> so that's a nice, so now you, we made a uh, milkshake. Oh man, that is not mixing together well. That does not look good at all. Well, let's, let's bust open this accessory pack and see what that's all about. Over there, let's see what we got in here. Matches. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet or after long exposure, several weeks. Very damp air. How about that? Still look pretty nice for matches, I suppose. What we got here? Ooh, got our Beechy's Peppermint Candy Coated Gum. Got Coffee Instant Type 1. Cream Substitute Dry Non-Dairy. Dehydrated Ketchup. Catsup. 7 grams. Toilet paper. It's yellow. <laughs> Sugar, some iodized salt. So this cheese spread just kind of feels feels like we need to. Uh, it's starting to get kind of hard down there. Feels like we need to spread it out a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. That does not look good. That cheese. I don't think cheese spread's supposed to look brown. That just does not look good at all. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be trying that. <laughs> that looks absolutely 100% disgusting. Look at how fun this is. Just push that out. 
Oh, man. If nothing else, this is just cool to uh, see but from back in the day because I don't think I'm going to be ingesting any of this. This just... Oh, my God. It smells like cheese. But, I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be eating any of that cheese spread. Let's open up these crackers. Yeah, they all got smashed. That's depressing. Well, there's still some there that I might be able to try. Take a look at the fruitcake. I'm going to try to keep this box. These boxes in pretty good shape, so let's get this, get this opened here. All right. So let's see. Fruitcake ingredients, sugar, flour, raisins, shortening. I can guarantee you the raisins are rancid. Whole eggs, nuts, pineapple, cherries, water, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, clove powder, nutmeg, three ounces, Sterling Bakery, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, you gotta be careful because the bags get stuck in there. You don't wanna rip it. Okay, we got that. So let's open this up. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you know, Johnny Carson once said that there's only one fruitcake in the world and it just keeps getting passed around from person to person. <laughs> smells like a fruitcake. Oh, it's so oily too. I'm gonna have to take a bite out of that. And let's see, chicken a la king. This didn't come with a heating pack, so I'm gonna guess that uh, you can just eat this without having to actually heat it up, which is amazing. That's stuck together. That's not good. Probably not something I'm going to be able to eat, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm ripping the hell out of this damn thing. I just can't believe in my hands I have something that is as old as I am. Because from my research, this was the very last time that it was on menu number nine was 1987, so. All right, there we go. I'm ripping the box on the inside. Okay. Oh, God. Mm. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. That looks like straight up vomit, dude. Oh, my God. So there is what your meal in 1987 would look like if you were in the military and you drew the short stick and got uh, Chicken a la King menu number nine. All right, so we got this. We're going to try this cracker here. Oh. <laughs> It's still, it's got the salt on it. Oh God, that's gross. Ah, yeah, that, that's definitely old. I'm not sure if this is actually a good idea or not. There's nothing. I'm gonna take a little, little sliver off here. Can't be bad, right? It's just chocolate milk. Well, hey, that ain't actually too bad. Once you uh, get past this chunkiness at the top. <laughs> One more drink. Well, that actually wasn't too terrible. It actually tastes like chili. Interesting. Yeah, I had high intentions to uh, eat all this, but it's 34 years old. I'm not gonna do that. Chicklets. 
Oh man, well the gum is still good. It's actually still good. Good pepperminty taste. The rest of that stuff I'm not even touching. Let's see what this ketchup looks like when we reconstitute it in this envelope by adding water. I guess you can use this without doing that, but uh, for the sake of this video, this is what we're gonna do. It's kind of powdery. I don't think I got enough room in that packet there, so we're just gonna dump it out in this shot glass. And then, add a little bit, well I don't know what two teaspoons is, but I'm just gonna add some water. Screw it. Okay, here we go. Let's make our ketchup. Interesting, I probably added too much water. No, oh, no, I'm not a pro at this. Because <laughs> when you're out in the field, how are you gonna know what two teaspoons is? Is this a teaspoon? Probably. Probably added way too much. But yes, oh my goodness, you can, if, I wish you guys could smell it. That smells like legitimate ketchup. Yep, tastes like it too. There you go, that's what your ketchup would look like out in the field. Mmm, yummy. Let's bust open this toilet paper. Got your single sheet when uh, your MRE is a uh, meal ready to excrete. Open this up. This is what your TP looks like. Looks like One ply. Uh, it looks like that stuff you use at Christmas time to put inside the gifts. You would definitely be getting a piece of ass by using this. This stuff is like freaking see through. Crazy. That's, that's the TP they used. Wow. That is the shittiest freaking toilet paper ever. Rips pretty easily. One last thing before I go. I swiped off all the uh, excess gunk up top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what Steve kinda does and we're gonna make a mocha. You see, we're gonna take this coffee instant type one and we're gonna add it to this. Coffee instant type one. Okay. Oh, that's definitely coffee. Wow, we're gonna make ourselves a mocha here. So here we go. Dump that into there. that up. Damn it, I'm getting it all over. Yeah, it's still chunky. Shit. Here we go. A uh, 1987 <laughs> mocha. Eat your heart out, Starbucks. There you go. Yep, I had gum from 1987, and now I've just drank a 1987 Mochaccino MRE style. This is gonna fuck up my stomach. Alright, that's it. That's all you get. I did it. That's what you get in a 1987 MRE, and um... Sorry I didn't try any more of the food. Uh, most of it looked pretty nasty. The cheese, uh, it was brown. Um, I don't think cheese is supposed to look like that. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me unboxing a, uh, a uh, MRE from way back before I was even born. And uh, just watching me enjoy a mocha from 1987. Holy shit, that is crazy. I'm going to be shitting my guts out probably. See you later. Alright, good morning. This is the morning after eating that MRE. And uh, I just wanted to say that um, I'm going to leave the expired MREs to Mr. Iron Stomach. 
Steve MRE 1989. Uh, I can barely sleep after drinking that uh, mocha chocolate drink. Uh, it literally felt like um, I had so much energy. Like, I don't know what they put in it. It felt, I couldn't sleep. Like, I literally felt like I had, like, unlimited amounts of energy. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to let the, uh, the MRE King uh, eat all the expired ones. And I will have ones that haven't expired past five years. So, just wanted to give you a little insight onto what I'm feeling this morning. My stomach's a little upset. I don't know if it's a cheese, the cracker, or a combination of that that chocolate drink and coffee. I don't know, but it was still fun to open that thing. So, thanks, guys. Just wanted to give you a quick heads up on what happened to me after I ate that MRE. See you soon.